Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And in today's episode of Hermitcraft, what we gotta do is get that art delivered over to Mr. Rendog and Mr. Isumavoid's base. Now, as you know, their base is kinda way up here in the sky, and our place is not so much. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a trail, uh, or a rail trail, around here. Well, maybe it doesn't make sense to go under False's place. Maybe we'll go around back False's place, we gotta map this out. Together! That's what teamwork's all about. You guys are on my team, and that's that's really good. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos the last few days. They've been mostly pre-recorded. I haven't figured out, or I hadn't figured out entirely what I wanted to say yet about some of the uh, kind of terrible things that have happened lately. It's It's been a rough, rough couple days, or rough few days for everybody, both in America and now with the uh, attack on MP Joe Cox in the UK. Uh, for, for the, the for the British as well, and, you know, it's just, you never want to say something stupid, you don't want, because this is a time when everybody has a lot of personal feelings, and it's easy to say, this is how I feel, this is why I'm upset, and other people are upset too, and even if they normally would logically go, I understand why you're upset, I'm upset about different things, in, in a context like this, they might say, you're upset about X, well, I'm upset about Y, and I think Y is more important than X, and I think you should be upset about Y, or you should be upset about both, or you should be upset about this, and there's a lot of different things that are upset and that have occurred, and I just want to kind of take a minute and say, like, it's okay to be upset, and it's important to minimize how we we lash out at those who are may be insensitive or seem insensitive when we are upset about these things because if somebody is trying to be comforting and they say the wrong thing like it's it's real easy in, in a context like this when this many people are unfortunately dead to to just lash out and we don't need more of that so i want to encourage people please you know talk to people talk to your friends work together to kind of resolve and make action plans, you know, about, um, about your feelings kind of going forward, um, and, because, like, we need to do stuff about these problems, the, um, I, I'm tired, sorry, it's, it's, it's difficult for me, I didn't, we have issues with violence in America, we have issues with bigotry, uh, we have issues with homophobia, and these are not easily solved problems. These are problems that we have made progress on, though, in the last few centuries. And that does not mean that they are solved or will be solved without effort. The progress we have made in the acceptance of the gay community in America came at great expense. Uh, a lot of effort, a lot of people worked very hard. The same thing for religious tolerance, you know. Um, the fact that Catholics are accepted in America now. That was a big deal. The fact that Muslims are fighting for acceptance. And, and it is a struggle every day to find a place in society for people who haven't necessarily traditionally had one. You know, it's hard to show up... Even at something like like a, a a party, it's hard to show up to a party late and just jump in and get along with everybody. Maybe they're already playing games. Maybe they're already somebody's already decided, hey, let's get started on the food, and people are already working on the food or, or, or putting together the a, like a, I don't know what you call it a racquetball net. Uh, this is you know the thing with the it's got a birdie. But my point is that people will have already, like, grouped up and started working on, on making the best party they can. And if you show up a little bit late, it's easy for people to be kind of like, well, hey, you know, we've already been making the food and getting everything set up, and, and you just showed up, you know, where were you earlier? And it's not the same thing at all. But I feel like it's a valuable just example or, or way of looking at this just because it's important to 
it's important to try to look at things from different angles, even if those those attempts fail. Like, I'm, I'm going to get out here in front of you guys all the time, and I'm going to say things that I feel like I'm doing the, the best I can to, to, to express complex thoughts in a simple way. And that has some value because it helps people find different ways to latch on to those complex thoughts. But it also, if you're not careful, can upset people because complex things are intrinsically complex. And that's part of why we call them that. But if you don't treat them, treat certain topics with the respect for that complexity, it might seem like you're not taking them seriously. And, like, we, we want to find new ways to look at things that are difficult to look at without pretending that our new simplified model is uh, perfect or is even adequate, remotely adequate, you know? Like, people want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. They want to be part of a community and you know what, I want people to be a part of my community, you know, uh, America was founded on, on that sort of thing, and there's a lot of people who wouldn't be able to be here contributing and doing the best they can if people hadn't tried to, to make a space for them, and so it's just really important to me that we don't give up on trying to make a space for people in America, um, and that we don't, and, and not just in America, but America is, is my home, and I'm not I don't feel as qualified to speak about the uh, unfortunate um, shooting of the MP uh, earlier today as I do about the America thing. But, I mean, it's – we have complicated problems with violence, with bigotry, with hatred, and we need to find ways to look at them rationally and – we need to do our best to talk to each other and to communicate the ways we're looking at those things. But the whole time we do that, we need to keep in mind how emotional these issues are for some people. You know, um, it's, it's a difficult thing to be compassionate and logical and, and just think these things through all at the same time. It's, it's a challenge, and it is a challenge that humanity is particularly well-suited for, um, but it's a challenge nonetheless. And I, I just want to encourage everybody to, to really just go out there and, and, and tr try and be patient with other people who are trying. Be patient with other people who might be too exhausted psychologically to do anything yet because because right now it's 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 a difficult time for a lot of people they're still trying to mentally process their their grief and their anguish o over these, these terrible acts and you know we've got to remember that if we don't work together to to try to avoid these sorts of things in the future then they're gonna keep happening so i just i just want to encourage everyone to be a little bit more compassionate, to be as understanding as you can be, and to, to be okay with saying, you know, I'm really upset right now about what happened, and I need a little bit of time to myself, you know. It's, it's, it's better to, to ask for a little bit of time to yourself than it is to lash out at people, because we've, we've had enough lashing out. We need, we need some real well-thought action. And before we can achieve that, any sort of complicated action plan to aggressively solve these problems over the course of many years, because they are year-long problems to solve, we, we need to make sure that we're in, in, a, in a good mental place as well. And so, you know, if you need to be around people to, to feel better, go for it. But, you know, understand that they might be feeling differently than you do or, or see the approaches differently than you do. And it's okay to take time for yourself, too. And uh, if somebody does want a little bit of space, please give it to them. Because we all handle our, our grief and our anguish a little differently. And I think that that's a uh, hard thing to keep in mind. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I just... 
I'm doing the best I can with the things I'm thinking about, and uh, I really appreciate you listening to me about this. I might actually just go ahead and end this this video here. I'll I'll do the the build video um, in a separate piece because I feel like this is kind of more self-contained. But um, yeah, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee, and I just want to encourage all of you one more time: be as compassionate as you can. And when you can't do that, figure out what you need to do in order to be as compassionate as you can.